Hi, it's Oscar from the Coding Universe, and today I'm excited to show you how to install the brand new version of LWJGL, LWJGL3. Okay, so for those of you who don't know already, LWJGL3 is a brand new, completely rewritten version of LWJGL2, uh, but it hasn't been fully developed yet. It's still in a beta phase, you could say. So just a disclaimer, uh, the version of LWJGL that we're going to install today is not by any means a finished or stable version. It's just usable for experimenting purposes. Okay, so we're going to start by going to the new LWJGL website, going to download, and then you'll see three different options, release, stable, and nightly. Now, you can choose between stable and nightly, and the difference between the two is that stable is uh, the latest build that works, whereas nightly um, doesn't necessarily work yet. So I'm gonna go with uh, stable here. So just to download and open the zip file, and you'll see three different folders. Doc, which stores the Java documentation, Jar, which stores the Java library files, and Native, which stores the uh, platform native files. Okay, so what we're going to do now is open up a new project in Eclipse. So new Java project, I'll call it LWJGL3. And then you want to go, you want to navigate to that project folder in your Windows Explorer, or in this case in Finder. And what you want to do is just copy all of those folders from the LWJGL download folder into the LWJGL um, project folder. So let's do that, copy and uh, paste. And now that these folders have been added, we're going to refresh the project by going to Eclipse and clicking the file refresh. So now Eclipse knows that the files are there. And now to add the library files and the documentation and the native configuration, we'll go to Project Properties, Java Build Path, Libraries, Add Jars, and just select the Disruptor and LWJGL jar file. And then for the LWJGL jar file, expand that and double click on Native Library Location. Click on Workspace. And now we get to select the native files for, uh, for the program. And of course that depends on the native platform that you're running. I'm running Mac OS X, but if you were on Linux or on Windows, then you would select uh, either 64 bits or 32-bit, uh, depending on your configuration. Uh, so I'm going to go with 64-bit Mac OS X. There we go. And then lastly, for the documentation, so um, the explanation for the different methods and the different uh, classes, you want to double click on Java doc location. And now we need to go back to the project folder and uh, just go to documentation and double click on Java docs that expands. And then we want to select this folder as the documentation folder. So go back to Eclipse, so browse to that folder, documentation folder, and uh, select Java doc. Okay, great, so the configuration should be working right now. And the way we're going to test that is go to the LWJGL website and uh, click on Get Started. And they have this, uh, this example source code here. I'm just going to copy that in. And if everything works correctly, it should show a red window. So I'll just paste that code in and run it. And there you go. So that's how you set up LWJGL3. Um, have fun and make sure to give feedback to the great minds behind this new version of LWJGL. Bye.